Fort Wayne has grown into a very large city and has aspirations to be even bigger than it is. And the city still loves to tout itself as a place that's very affordable to mm -hmm. live. However, it seems like that tide may be changing a little bit as more developments come into downtown and more business comes in as well. We always hear about the great development in progress downtown, and it's visible. We can all see it. But are these changes coming at the cost of maybe pricing people of certain income brackets out of the downtown area? I would say that it's not about pricing um, folks out of the income bracket. I think that it's an opportunity to meet all the incomes that we have going in um, going on here in Fort Wayne. But let me put a marker right there to say we have an extensive shortage of affordable housing. This is before the, the bandwidth of downtown was growing. We have a shortage of market rate homes that are affordable. So that's why I've been very intentional on, count, on council, creating an environment so that all people will have somewhere to live. And we are in a national crisis. It's not only Fort Wayne. Yes, um, coming out of COVID, everybody has experienced that, that 10 to 15% of um, increase in goods and services. That's not, we're not going backwards. We're not going back to the cost of living prior to COVID. So as much as we can as a city, we have to create an, a, a city that everyone can, can live in. Uh, definitely downtown does have affordable housing units, but how often do they come available? You know, so that's why we're always looking, I would say on city council, always looking for those public-private partnerships that everyone in the city can benefit from. So the reality of it is any city, we're the second largest city in the state of Indiana, you have to have a center. You have to have a financial center, a center within a city. And then it goes out like a web, like Charlotte's Web. You know, you go out to your quadrants, and we've been working intentionally since I've been on council to make sure all the quadrants as well, we live in this quadrant system, they're receiving and benefiting from the growth that's happening.